So that's our ending. Wait, actually, you need to see, we need to go back to the beginning so that you can understand that statement. I'm sorry, let's rewind. An epilogue, also known as an outro, is a section or speech at the end of a book or movie that serves as a comment on or a conclusion to what has happened. It's almost like a miniature story that ends the story. An epilogue will enrich your story or add some value that exists beyond the main storyline. For instance, an epilogue will provide closure, or it's the after in Happily Ever After. It'll even tell what happened to the world of the novel. Now imagine how frustrating you would be as the reader if you had picked up a book and you had spent a hundred pages investing into this protagonist, learning who they were, finding the backstory, finding out who the antagonist was, so on and so forth. And it all leads up to a climactic battle scene the climax of the story and you're reading it wondering what the outcome is going to be so you see this epic battle ensue between the antagonist and the protagonist all the while deep down you're rooting for the main character because somehow you have related because of a good author to the main character now imagine this climactic moment goes on for 50 maybe 100 pages and you're seeing it it's boiling up to a crescendo and then all of a sudden the end. You would be frustrated, no doubt. You as the reader would walk away and think to yourself, why did I spend so much time reading this book if it was just going to end abruptly? I don't even know what happened to the main character. I have no closure. I have no resolve. It would undoubtedly be frustrating because you've invested in the protagonist. You even trusted the author to give you, the reader, some closure. You were hoping that he would tie up all the loose ends and resolve some things. Now, we talked a little bit about this in vlog 5.5 on Monday, but we read from Jeremiah 29 11, where he says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. You see, God has an epilogue for all of us. He has a story already written at the end of all of this. It's the closing chapters. You see, ironically, God started writing our epilogue, our ending, in the beginning, in Genesis. Whenever Adam and Eve failed in the garden, he looked ahead into the future and began writing a new ending to where we get back in relationship with him. You see, each and every one of us have a divine story written by the hand of God. We may have different beginnings, we may have different climaxes, different battle scenes, different conflicts, but the beauty of living for God is we all have the same epilogue. All of our outros will be the same. To those that are born again of the water and of the spirit, we are guaranteed the same epilogue. He made this common ending possible in John 19.30 when he closed the chapter to his own story. Hanging from a cross, he said, it is finished. This is where he rewrote the ending for all of mankind. During the closing of his chapter, Jesus had the beginning of our chapter on his mind while hanging from the cross. Because of his earthly end, he gave us access to a heavenly beginning. I want to just show you in his word, what our epilogue will look like. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. This, my friends, is all of our common ending to those that have been born again. I look forward to standing next to my brothers and sisters as we all read together on that last day, the epilogue of our stories.